गीत गदाधर श्रीवासादि श्री गौरवक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे एखे बांगाली मायर आ Are there Bengali mothers here? Are there Bengali mothers here? Guru Vishnu Ganesh, Anugatte, under the guidance of Guru Vishnu, we are performing the eighty-four course of Guru Mandala Parikrama. Amura, this place is the most important. We are here now, present. This is like the very special heart of Vrindavan. Special heart, Vrindavan. If you don't have a heart and, and, and blood, you die. In so the same way, this place is the heart of God. In English and Hindi, we have heard the name of, the, name of this place, Tel Kadamba. Also here there is Atna Vedi, Rasasthali, Akunda also. The glories of the place are unlimited. In 5-10 minutes you cannot describe the glories of this place. But still, I'll try, I'll try to speak one or two words. Actually, this place we are here now. On one side, to one side is Javar, to other is Nandagam. So this is the middle place of Javar and Nandagam. The word Ter in Hindi means to call. To call. To call. Krishna used to climb the trees here. And Krishna used to call the scouts. And if it's full, he would call them. So Krishna used to call all the cows. Then the cows would come here. Why does Krishna pay the flute? There are many reasons Archad has explained. One cause is that Krishna, with the sound of his flute, he gathers the cows together. Actually, according to the Rasa, the devotees think, oh, Krishna is calling me. For example, when Krishna plays the flute, the friends of Krishna, they think, Krishna is calling us to graze the cows. When the gopis hear Krishna playing the flute, then the gopis think, oh, Krishna is calling us to the Rasa study. In the Shemad Bhagavad Shukadeva Goswami explains, hearing the sound of the flute, the gopis, they give up all their household duties, their patience, their religion, and they come to hear to the last pastimes. Mother to show them. So when Mother to show them, this is also to the center of the flute. She thinks, oh, Krishna is coming, let me prepare the food for him. This is only one sound of the food. The different devotees, when they hear the sound of the food, they go to Krishna. So over this Kadamba tree, Krishna used to call all the cows. Shemali, Davali, Hey Mridanga Mukhi. Krishna used to take the names of the cows, very beautiful names. Sometimes, Krishna used to forget, maybe calling one specific cow. Then that cow would become angry. 
So he wrote all these books here. So also we are hearing how Riyarupa Goswami, how he was doing his bhajan. Completely absorbed in bhav. Puja Pada Ramachandra Prabhu made us remember one or two past times. Every day Shumati Radhika was going from Java to Nandagao. Every day early in the morning to cook for Shri Krishna. We have heard Zirvasari she gave her a benediction. Whatever Shumati Radhika cooks is nectar. It will be nectar. And whoever eats this food will become very healthy and strong. That's why Mother Jashoda every day she sends Mother Jashoda used to invite Mother Radhika to cook every day in the gown. So, actually, Shumati Radhika she wouldn't come alone, she would come with Kundalata. When she was coming, Krishna, Krishna was uh, grazing, uh, sorry, milking the cows, sitting milking the cows. Seeing Shumati Radhika, Shumati Radhika saw Krishna from far and she felt so much happiness seeing Krishna. But you know, Prema is crooked, crooked. So when Saki told, Oh, look, that black person is sitting there. Then Shmatratka says, We are not weak. We are strong. We are strong. We are strong. We are strong. We are not weak. Let's go. Let's go. Because when friend told, Oh, that black, black man is there. Let's not go this way. Shmatratka says, I don't care. Let's go. Let's go this way. And then, finally, Shmatratka. She sees the beautiful form of Krishna and she feels so much happiness, so much happiness. So she has a necklace on her neck. Then knowingly she, she breaks her necklace. And all the pearls fall on the floor. Because she has a necklace and all the pearls fall on the floor. So she's uh, picking up each pearl that fell on the ground and then she's just seeing Krishna. So many beautiful descriptions of this pastime. Then she's coming closer. Krishna was milking the cow. Krishna has pulled the other of the cow in such a way strongly that the milk of the cow went straight to the face of Shumati Radhika and in beautifully decorated Shumati Radhika's face. Shumati Radhika says, oh yeah? So there was a stone. So Shumati Radhika threw a stone and also made Krishna all dirty with mud. Shumati Radhika threw a stone in the mud and the mud spilled and also made Krishna dirty. Because Krishna also made her dirty, with, not dirty, like with the milk, right? So all these leelas are described. When the Rupagoswami was here, he used to write books about separation, like shlokas. And then all the flowers and the fruits and the leaves of, I mean, all the leaves of the tree would fall, the, the tree would almost dry. Then when the Goswami was writing things about meeting, shlokas of meeting, and all the trees would become green and very beautiful, like fresh. So, Sanatana Goswami, he was living with us today in Pavan Sarovar in Nandagaon. And Rupa Goswami living here 
Uh, the Pogosami used to live here. Both brothers, they used to meet here. They used to meet. And they, what they used to do? What is Sadhu Sangha? It's Harikata. So when the Sadhus, they meet each other, they describe beautiful pastimes of Kata. So then they feel this happiness, this bliss. Smatazaka herself to hear the conversation between Rupa and Sanatana. She came dressed as a normal gopi, village girl. Ramachana Prabhu told, why did she come? Rupa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami, they were describing the first shloka of the Bhagavatam. Janmadasa Jata. So they were giving such a beautiful description to this verse. Janma Adi. Adi Ras means the original mellows. The source of all the mellows is Adi Ras means Shinga Ras. Paramore mood. And there are five main Rasas. And seven Gona Rasas. So actually the origin of all the Rasas is in Shinga Ras. Paramore mood, just like all the rivers, they meet with the ocean and they increase the water of the ocean and in this way the waves of the ocean are coming in this way the ocean becomes so beautiful this, especially also if you do Jagannathapuri on the day of new moon or new moon or full moon from Ekadashi to new moon or Ekadashi to full moon you can see the waves of the ocean are so big, so beautiful and if there's also clouds, and if there's winds, there are winds, then who can describe the glories of the ocean, the beauty of the ocean in that moment? In the same way, our the Madhurya, so Vishwana Chakravati in the Madhurya, Kadambini, he describes, so many people had spoken before about Bhakti and the definition of Bhakti, but what Rupa Goswami Pada did, he wrote an unprecedented definition of bhakti that before was not described in the scriptures. All the Goswamis and all the Acharyas, like Rupa Goswami, he took the moods of all Acharyas and wrote this shloka. And I blushed Ashunyam. Shnajiva Goswami and Shri Dabishwana Chakravati and other Goswamis, they gave a beautiful commentary on this verse of I cannot see anywhere else. Gurudeva said, if even a Mayavadi, they speak Raskata, certainly they will also, even if a Mayavadi speaks Raskata, they'll describe verses of Ujjal Nilamani and Bhakti Rasamta Sindhu. She bought uh, uh, rice, um, sugar, you know, but the, friend, the brothers were so absorbed in Qatar, they didn't give attention to this girl. Then she herself started to cook. But where did she took like the, uh, where did she take the pot and fire from? All the mystic powers come from her lotus feet. So she just did like blow like this. Then quickly some some fire came. In one second, all the everything, all the kitchen preparation was there, like a stove and fire. And actually, she was cooking slowly, slowly, just to hear Harikata. So Matarika said, "Oh, my mom is calling me. I need to go." take this and then she left after the Harikata finished Rupa Goswami took that kid and gave to Sanatana Goswami when Sanatana Goswami ate and the both brothers became so absorbed in Bhav who has cooked this? who has cooked this? except Shimataratka no one ha can have cooked this so there are so many katas here so Gurudev used to come here Gurudev used to be so absorbed in Bhav, speaking Harikata, completely absorbed in Bhav. So many times Gurudev will have come here with Gurudev, how many times? Not only once, not only the time of Brajamandala Parikrama, even except the moment of Brajamandala Parikrama. Many times I have come here with Gurudev. 
At that time, that place was not like this. It was really simple. But also, it was very beautiful at that time also. So, Gurudeva used to take his uttariya, remove his uttariya, and then Gurudeva used to roll on the ground here. So, at that time, the Urup Sanatana Gaudiya Mata was not there, so we came from Mathura. Gurudev used to roll on the ground, especially here. Janadana Goswami Maharaj also, who has seen him, disciple of Bhaktisiddhanta Prabhupada, used to call out, Ha, ah, Brishabhanu Nandini here, and crying, crying here, and also rolling on the ground. So many katas. This is a place of so much bhav. This is a divine transcendental place. I just tell one story that Gurudev used to say. All the Shastras describe Guru Bandana, the qualification of Guru. But in the first verse of Vailapa Kusumanjali, Raghunath Das Goswami, he is telling uh, prayer to the Guru like Guru Vandana. But according to his own Swarupa, in the Swarupa of Rupa Goswami, he's actually he's making fun. The first shloka of Vailapa Kusumanjali, he's doing Guru Vandana, means praising his Guru. And Rati Manjali is saying, Hey Rupa Manjali, I know that you are very chaste woman in Braj. But I know already, maybe two or three days, it's been that your husband is not in home, he's somewhere else. So, he's not home. But I see there's a beautiful. I see that you have some bite marks in your lips. So maybe like a parrot thought your lips were some food and just bit your lips, right? This is Rasa Madhurya Kata. Just explains, Seva Sadaka Rupena, Siddha Rupena Chatra. So all these Kata is there, so beautiful. So we are not qualified, some, but still Gurudeva sometimes used to be absorbed and describe these Katas. Bhaktivinoda Thakura says, remember these past times and chant holy names, and very quickly you attain Krishna Prem. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Bansha Guru Dhrupa, Sindhu Vaishya Padita, Bhavane Bhu, Vaishnavi Vodhana. Bansha Guru Dhrupa, Asisar Mahadev. So from here we go to Asisar Mahadev. We have breakfast there. We will go to Asisar Mahadev. They will give breakfast. They'll give us breakfast there.